Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Elias Castillo with EMC Outdoors and today I want to do a quick update video of the stuff that I have been doing in my garden. Uh, it is March 21st. Uh, yesterday was the first day of spring and I did a little bit of work in the yard and today I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on uh, how stuff is growing. Uh, this is what stuff uh, has been planted uh, from last fall or it has been direct sown uh, or uh, some of them have been transplants from the store. So I'm going to show you guys a few of those things. So I want to start by the seeds that I direct sowed. They were planted on March 11th and I'm going to show you what those seeds look like right now. I see a few sprouts and I'm going to try to show them to you. They're a bit small so it's going to be hard to see but here we go. I see the lettuce has started to sprout. You can see a tiny little lettuce there a tiny little guy and there's a lot of them all along the row and then I have the beets here have not sprouted these beets have not sprouted so that tells me that beets are going to take a little longer to sprout since it's been a little cold you have trusty radishes here these are French radishes radishes are a very quick crop 30 days from sowing to harvesting so you want to plant those in your yard we have carrots here, they have not sprouted. I have parsley and it has not sprouted. It takes about two weeks for it to sprout, so be patient. And then I have some shard and it has not sprouted either. So you can expect to see some sprouts from lettuces and radishes in about 10 days. And those are typically the fastest growing crops anyways. So uh, if you want a very quick crop, plant lettuce and radish. Now I want to show you another bed and this bed has been in the ground since last fall and this is my fall crop of mustard greens. Let me show you guys what that looks like right now. These are all mustard greens and I have already started picking them. Uh, I have done about two harvest out of this space already and they are doing really well they're pretty happy now i did plant some cabbages from starters uh, i think actually these are broccoli and cauliflower and you can see they made it but they were pretty stressed for a few days so i'm actually going to let them grow for a little longer but if they don't get going pretty pretty quick here i'm going to replace them with new ones because of the shock that they had Another thing I want to show you is my radish, uh, daikon radish spot. These were planted in the fall and they overwinter and now they are growing. And you can see most of them make it but some of them don't. So uh, these are typically used in Asian cooking, uh, Korean cooking for making kimchi. So I'm going to be harvesting pretty soon because I want to turn the bed over to um, lettuces and other things that are that I like a little bit better. This is corn mash. It's already starting to see seed here. So you can eat this like broccolini kind of deal. And that's gonna be a nice little meal pretty soon. Then this is my garlic bed. I planted this garlic I, about a month ago, uh, just to try and to see if uh, garlic will grow even after not overwintering. So these are growing pretty nicely. These are all Larksbergs. Uh, they're a flower, they're pretty, pretty nice, a blue flower. I spread the seeds here uh, last fall and they sprouted in the winter and now they're growing. And I'm gonna be taking them and picking them up and transplanting them to spots where I actually want them. This here is my other garlic bed, but I started these in the ground I believe back in October. So they have been in the ground all winter and you can see the growth difference is quite significant. So it's going to be a natural experiment here and I'm going to see which one does better uh, than the other one. So then next year I can pick a better date. My front garden is doing pretty nice. I planted some bulbs in the fall as well. I have some daffodils and hyacinths and they are coming up. 
I also started a new raised bed back there yesterday and that's gonna be a herb garden and then I'll show you right over here where I have my onion bed this over here is my onion bed I have some chives and then I have some evergreen onions and at that end I have Egyptian walking onions and you can see I have a ton of them there and hopefully I'll be harvesting a lot of extra bulbs from here to plant around my house additionally I have some kale in this bed and it has over winter and it's starting to grow really nicely now and we're gonna get harvesting pretty soon and lastly is my tat toy bed uh, I've already harvested some from here they are bolting what that means is that they're starting to go to seed you can see the seed here uh, and the flower sorry and this becomes seed later so you can cut this from the center you can see I've cut it from the center I'm gonna show you a little bit better one here I've cut this one from the center and you don't want to cut the whole thing because if you cut the whole thing it won't grow anymore but if you cut it from the center here and you leave the base of the plant it will continue to give you side shoots and you continue to eat those for quite some time so I'm gonna be harvesting from here for about a month now and when it comes time to plant my summer crops I'm gonna be putting in tomatoes and peppers the other thing that I have growing and is doing crazy it's doing really well is this this is called um, winter rape and it's a it's a Chinese green and in China they actually grow it for the seeds and they press the seeds and they make oil out of it uh, so if you look in the back of some food packaging it will say rape seed oil and it's this plant and the seeds from this is what gets pressed into oil but I'm growing it for the greens and it actually just tastes like a collard green and it's a lot hardier than a collard green so that's why I grow it in the in the winter this is my chard here the green one seemed to do really well uh, in the winter so I'm probably gonna grow a little bit more of this in this winter and then I have just a row of onions on the end there I eat a lot of onions so that's why I keep a ton of onions on hand I just love onions with everything with eggs with soups with anything so I love growing onions uh, this year I'm trying a new type of onion it's called a potato onion and those uh, kind of split from the bottom and they you plant one bulb and you get four or five out of them so wish me luck on those so that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have some plants that overwinter can you let me know what has overwintered well in your garden here in zone 7 and please comment below and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you can receive a notification when a new video goes live thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye